The attempted assassination of Pope John Paul II. Mary! Mary! I'm startled by my mother's voice. I board the plane, and I ride a plane from New York City, New York, to Rome, Italy. My family and I visit tourist attractions around Rome. My favorite is the Trevi Fountain. Today is Friday, May 13th, 1981. Today, we get to travel to the Vatican City to see Pope John Paul II. He is the leader of our Catholic Church. After waiting all morning for a good spot to see Pope John Paul, he finally comes out. He is greeting the crowd with kindness. My heart is as full as it can be with love. I can feel the Pope's warmth and love all around me. The Pope makes his way around the square. However, the crowd loves him too much. Even though the Pope is only supposed to go around once, he tells his guards to take him around one more time. That is when I hear the unthinkable gunfire. Then, there are horrified screams coming from the crowd. One of the screams comes from my mother. The Pope is rushed off. For the next four hours, my head is filled with questions. What would have happened if the Pope wouldn't have taken that extra lap? Is he going to live? Who did this? After four long hours, we get word from the Vatican that the Pope had immediate surgery. He lost nearly three-fourths of his blood. There were actually four gunshots. He did lose a lot of blood, but thankfully none of his vital organs were hit. It's hard to return home when not only the Vatican, but the world is in such a state of shock. But we must return home. Today, the Pope did something brave. He went into the jail where his assassinator was and forgave him. I can't imagine how hard that must have been to forgive the person who tried to kill you and look them in the eyes. Pope John Paul II taught me what true love is.